Let's learn about CAG 2.1 success criterion 2.2.6 timeouts. This criterion requires that users are given the ability to adjust the time limit for completing a task, or to turn off the time limit altogether. This means that website functionality should not set an arbitrary time limit on user interactions without allowing users to control or adjust that limit. To implement success criterion 2.2.6 in code, here are some examples of best practices. Provide a way for users to turn off the time limit, such as a pause or stop button, so that they can take as much time as they need to complete the task. Provide control over the time limit, allow users to adjust the time limit for completing a task, such as a slider or drop-down menu that allows them to set the time limit to their own preference. Warn users of impending time limits, warn users of an impending time limit, such as a countdown timer or visual cue, to give them an opportunity to save their work or adjust the time limit before the limit is reached. Test for accessibility, test your website for accessibility, including success criterion 2.2.6, using automated tools or by conducting user testing. Here's an example of how to provide a way to turn off the time limit for a quiz. In this example, the code sets a time limit of 60 seconds for a quiz. To meet success criterion 2.2.6, the code also includes a function that allows users to pause the quiz and turn off the time limit. The pause quiz function stops the timer and could display a prompt or button that allows the user to resume the quiz when they're ready. This provides users with control over the time limit, allowing them to take as much time as they need to complete the quiz, and helps to meet success criterion 2.2.6.